This man was suddenly stopped by a stranger while taking a walk. What followed will astound you. Mark White was taking a casual walk with his dogs when something very bizarre happened to him. He had just been stopped by a stranger. The stranger, gripped with fear, was seeking help. Owing to his helpful nature, Mark agreed to help him. Little did he know that it was going to be the most strenuous task ever undertaken by him. Just when this highly optimistic man felt discouraged and unable to carry the promise he made to the helpless man, suddenly something unbelievable happened. Mark failed to provide help to the man and it was then the stranger received help from the most unexpected source. Listen to the story and try to guess who the savior could be. Mark White is a native of Michigan who lives with his two pooches named Belle and Crew. The dogs are adorable and it goes without saying that Mark is truly enamored. Whenever he finds himself in stress, he spends time with his tiny pals by playing with them or taking them out for a walk and then everything falls right back in place. That particular day, the dog owner took his pups out for a walk in the neighborhood. Dogs love to go for lengthy walks, even more so when the lovely weather is refreshing. Days driven by the chilly breeze and fluffy clouds are a pooch's paradise and no tail wagger would want to stay inside their house on those tempting days. That goes for Mark's fur babies too. Belle and crew would accompany their owner more than happily on walks. That day, the trio were trailing in the neighborhood, enjoying the pleasant weather when someone lunged at Mark. No, it was not some petty robber or a thief looking for money. The man who showed up suddenly before Mark was an elderly man. He must have been over 60 and was behaving in a very strange way. He wanted to say something, but words were not coming out of his mouth. Clearly, the fear of something had left him fumbling for words. Not only was he struggling with words, but he was also trying to hold back the tears that were about to trickle down his cheek at any moment. No, he wasn't mad, nor was he lost. The reason was something else. Mark, on the other side, remained perplexed by such a strange encounter. The appearance of the graying man itself explained that he was distressed. So, in order to calm him down, Mark asked him to first sit down calmly and take some breaths to gain his composure. Once the man managed to pull himself together, he began to share the cause of his weird behavior with Mark. The reason shook Mark as well. His dogs were with him the entire time. The stranger explained that he had come here for a walk with his 64-year-old wife, Terry Carl, when she suddenly disappeared. Since then, he had been looking for her everywhere but could not find her. The man pleaded with White to help him in finding his wife as he was old and incapable of searching everywhere quickly. You might be thinking, what's the big deal if she went somewhere? She would come back after a while, but mind you, Terry was not like other women. She was different and her disappearance was indeed a very big deal. And here is the reason. Terry was having a tough go of life as she was afflicted with dementia. The disease had left her disoriented and confused for the remainder of her days. The man had to take extra care of his wife as she used to wander off anytime, anywhere. Caring for an ill person is not an easy thing, especially if they're elderly with dementia. Previously, he managed to find her, but this time, the woman had disappeared to some unknown place and the graying man was too clueless to find her. The disease had overpowered her completely. Dementia is a very severe disease that damages the thinking abilities of a patient along with weakening their memory to a dangerous extent. These disabilities lead to delusion and behavioral issues. The problem does not end here too. Often the afflicted people are easily prone to anger and wandering off. The illness not only affects the patient, but also the people who surround them. Those who take up the responsibility of caring for someone with dementia have to be on their toes all the time. Such was the case with Terry that was going to unfold another thrilling event. First, let's find out why dementia patients wander off. The reason is going to break all the stereotypical tags attached to them. The big misconception about dementia patients is that they wander off aimlessly. It may interest you to know that it is not the actual reason. Some wander off while engaging in an old habit or routine, and the other reason could be that they are confused or looking for someone. Lastly, some walk away only to get rid of the feeling of restlessness, owing to the emotional disturbance, 
and forget to come back. Unfortunately, stopping dementia patients from wandering is still an insurmountable question, and the only way around it is to stay around them all the time. However, why Terry wandered off is still a mystery. Being a helpful guy as he was, White decided to help Mr. Carl. White recounts, The gentleman came out and asked if I had seen his wife. He continued, I was coming up Maple and said, I'd be happy to look for her. He continued walking on his path and this time with his eyes and ears open. They also asked about the old lady to every person they came across. Unfortunately, no passerbys could help. Dusk had fallen and Terry was still missing. With the increase in darkness, Mr. Carl's anxiety also increased. It was cold September, the night was approaching which means it would be even more difficult to find Terry. Gradually, the surroundings dissolved into the darkness, hindering the two men searching for the old lady and the old lady herself, who did not know she was lost. Beneath the hazy sky, White and the old man continued searching for Terry at every possible place. The evening was turning cold with every passing second. Despite the cold temperature, Mr. Call's hands were sweating with worry. They didn't have much time, they needed to find Terry before the night fell. Mark looked at each and every person passing by, but no one around looked even close to the woman Mr. Carl had described. Having no success in the park, he took to the streets with his dogs and started looking for her on the corner of the streets. Sadly, he also failed to track the woman there. Now there was nowhere else to look. He gradually began to feel discouraged and thought that they perhaps would never be able to find the woman. It was then that something bizarre happened. White was already getting distressed at his failed attempts and now his dogs started behaving strangely. The pooches began to wag their tails, but it wasn't time to get concerned over the dog's behavior. For now, the most important thing was to find the woman as he and Mr. Carl had failed to find her on their own. So they decided to do the next best thing. What do you think? Was Mark making a big mistake by ignoring his dog's strange behavior? Mark and Mr. Carl informed the police about the disappearance of the latter's wife. The police quickly made the announcement all over the town so that more people could help in the search. Meanwhile, the two kept their search. However, the missing report was yet to be filed. The cops' help didn't seem to make much difference. While looking for Mrs. Carl, Mark with his dogs crossed a group of thick woods. It was then the obedient dogs became uncontrollable. They began to pull on their leashes in a certain direction. Mark had never seen his dogs so insistent. He sensed nothing wrong and decided to follow the hounds. Dogs are widely known for having a strong sixth sense. They can easily sense that humans are not able to. For instance, dogs sense natural disasters way before humans do. Along with that, dogs have a strong sense of smell. These qualities added to their adorable appearance makes them a perfect pet. However, Mark was a bit skeptical about his dogs' behavior. It is still important to point out that dogs can easily be distracted by sounds and smells. That is to say, that dogs can run after any animals. That's why Mark thought that perhaps he was walking up a blind alley. But that was not the case. The pups were onto something important. Mark went past the busy streets only to enter into a dense forest. He had no idea where his dogs were taking him. He followed them patiently, wading through the giant trees. His pups were taking him into the woods. No doubt the forest was thick enough to hide everything, but there was a shiny object there, lying on the ground of the forest. On seeing that, the dogs rushed over to it to find out more. What could it be? What the dogs and their owner took notice of with nothing but a pair of glasses. It was baffling because who would drop their glasses on the ground and why would anyone come to this part of the woods without any purpose? Whose glasses could they be? Was it Mrs. Carl's? If yes, why did she throw her glasses on the ground? Had she been a victim of something? Mark needed to find the owner of the glasses as soon as possible. He didn't know who could be the owner, but somewhere in the back of his mind, he was thinking that maybe they belonged to Mrs. Terry. Perhaps she was in trouble and needed help. After all, she wasn't just old but ill too and completely unable to help herself out. The night seemed darker and cooler in the woods. Mark was shivering with the cold and for once thought of turning back, but the thought was soon replaced by the thought of the frightened old man who was desperately looking for his better half. 
He promised to help so he needed to step further even if he didn't want to. Unaware of the sight awaiting him in the middle of the forest, Mark marched ahead with his pals. Mark got deep into the forest. Now the sight of Mark and his dogs heavily depended on the flashlight he was holding. He brandished it around only to see if he could get any more clues. He inched further and the dogs once again began to behave weirdly. It seemed the dogs had found something. Mark's dog sniffed something out and started speeding up. They began to run, making Mark quicken his pace. The dogs were now in control and it was difficult for Mark to keep up the pace. After running for a while, the dogs stopped at a certain clearing. Mark directed his flashlight towards the clearing and saw something there. His jaw dropped. The clearing wasn't empty. There was someone there. Coming closer, Mark realized that there was a woman sitting in the clearing. However, she wasn't moving. Naturally, he had many assumptions swirling around in his mind. He continued walking towards the figure. The woman in the clearing's appearance exactly matched the description given by Mr. Carl. Realization dawned on him. He was standing before Terry Carl. He called her by her name and fortunately, she responded. However, she still looked perplexed. The woman was finally found all thanks to Belle and crew. Mark had never felt so proud of his doggies. Why wouldn't he be? The dogs had pulled a big task off without undergoing any police training. Mark couldn't wait to tell Mr. Carl about his successful search. He helped the old woman get to her feet and turned back towards the street where Mr. Carl was hopelessly looking for his beloved wife. Mark and the old woman stepped down towards the station to meet Mr. Carl and surprise him with this beautiful news. Little did they know, a very shocking thing was waiting for them at the station. They finally reached the station, but the atmosphere was not a normal one. There was an ambulance parked outside the station Mark and Mrs. Carl went inside to find out what the matter was. They were shocked to see Mr. Carl lying on a stretcher. The ambulance standing outside had come for Mr. Carl. What had happened in Mark's absence? Mr. Carl had an anxiety attack. It was obvious that the attack was caused by the fear of losing his wife. He had gotten worn out after going from pillar to post in search of his wife and he was excessively exhausted. As a result, he stopped breathing and collapsed. The ambulance was called in immediately and Mr. Carl was taken to the hospital. It was awful to see how much his health had deteriorated. The first thing doctors did was help him with a breathing monitor. It was indeed a strange day for Mark. After seeing to Mr. Carl in the hospital, Mark took Mrs. Carl to their home. She was still disoriented. Mrs. Carl was perfectly fine and now it was Mr. Carl whose life was at stake. Mark decided to stay with Mrs. Carl in her home. You can never predict life. A few hours ago, Mark was on a casual walk with his two buddies, and now he was taking care of a complete stranger old lady, who he only met some time ago. He was waiting impatiently for a phone call from the hospital, but Mr. Carl was in a critical condition due to his aging body. Mark was taking a nap while waiting when a phone call jerked him out of his sleep. He rushed towards the phone and picked it up. It was from the hospital. His heart was racing as he didn't know what the doctors were going to say. He said hello and a reply came from the other end, asking for Mrs. Carl who was sleeping, unaware of all the happenings. The doctor told Mark that they successfully helped restore Mr. Carl's breathing and he was recuperating fast. Amongst everything, he nearly had forgotten his superheroes, Belle and crew. Everything was fine. Mr. Carl was okay and was leading a healthy life with Mrs. Carl. Ron Moore, Wixom police chief, admired the efforts of the dogs and Mr. White. He said, the police were in the process of taking the police report when Terry Carl was ultimately found. The sheriff has also expressed his amazement over the incident. He called it a great success story. He also admired on the relationships their community shares with each other. He said it all happened because we value our partnership with our community. As far as those cute heroes are concerned, their dad rewarded them with many treats and love for Mr. Carl and everyone who heard the story. Moore was highly impressed by the work of the dogs and praised their work in his tweet as a great job. Yes, these dogs took the world by storm, but it may interest you to know that Bell and crew are not the only dogs who helped the community find a missing person that too was diagnosed with dementia. There's one more story of a smart dog that proved its worth 
by taking the lead in a missing case reported in July 2017. A woman diagnosed with dementia was reported missing by her family in Florida. No one had a clue where she could have gone. Despite no breakthroughs, the woman was found in just five minutes, all thanks to the dog that tracked her easily. The tool officials used to find the woman was indeed unique. The woman was using her own scent. She'd even deposited a bottle storing her own odor to the nearby police station in case she gets lost as she did that day. The scent had been kept in a jar for over two years. Usually, in such cases, the chances are high of the scent becoming ineffective. But luckily, the bottle had a lifespan of seven years, meaning that the scent could be used in finding the woman. Alexandra Horowitz, who's a dog cognition expert at Barnard, said, Simply enclosing an item will help the odor remain for much longer. Human scent preservation kits come in handy while tracking a missing person. The police officials and the nonprofit organization have been using this strategy for a long time. All one has to do is to press the armpit with a sterile cotton swab, put it in a jar, and after sealing it, don't forget to label it. It eases the process of finding a missing person as officials can make use of their dogs after having them exposed to the smell. And in this case, the same kit was going to help the police a great deal. Officials introduced their canine officer Allie to the missing woman's smell in order to find her. The dog after sniffing didn't take much time to locate her. You'd be surprised how long she took to find the missing woman, who was only listed missing for two hours. The dog only did it in five minutes. Yeah, you heard that right. It was not difficult at all for the canine officer. The woman had wandered off but wasn't too far from home. Apart from being adorable pets, dogs are excellent at police service too. They are primarily trained to help find missing people such as those diagnosed with dementia and Alzheimer's. Another task of these dogs is to remind the disease-inflicted people about their routine activities. So, now you have a few more reasons to keep dogs around.